I was trying to think of uh, something I know in Tamil, but the only thing I know is Nandar. Nandar, yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah well, that's the only beautiful. Thing. Yes, yes. Nandar. Nandar. <laughs> Nandar. Nandar. <laughs> Thank you so much for sitting down with us. Uh, we have uh, been an admirer of yours for a few years now. I think the first thing we ever saw you in was Super Deluxe, mm -hmm. but then I think we fell in love, not, we fell in love with your acting in Super Deluxe, Thank but you. then we also fell in love with you when we saw 96 as well. That yeah. was the thing that really catapulted us to learn more about you and your work, and now we've seen, I think, 50 or 60 Tamil films or something like that, and so, mm -hmm. so we're, we're in it, but we, Loved that we were able to see your film last night, Maharaja. Right? Thank you. Yes. Um, so tell us about that, how, you, uh, how that started. We've also talked to your co-actor, Anwar mm -hmm. Kashyap, before. Uh, he told you that? No, 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 no. 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 We just, we, we've talked with him, we know him, and have, yeah. we've interviewed him, and we've had a meal with him before. What was it, what, uh, what got you into the project, what got you excited about this project? Uh, you saw the film history, I think. Yes, yes, yes. I hope you love the way the script was written. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, that excited me so much. And then uh, uh, Nitin always says that uh, uh, audience is always brilliant and uh, uh, he just wanted to play with the audience's mind. Mm -hmm. uh, so and he did it. And did, yes. And he did it. Yeah. And, uh, so I love the way he narrated. And then uh, if you sit and talk to Nitin, he is so genuine. Uh, you can talk to him uh, with Pan Lee and uh, he's a good listener too. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you can discuss about the film and you can discuss about the opinion whatever you had about the film. Uh, and uh, he became like my younger brother. Mm -hmm. so, uh, then whenever I'm three I call him, come, we'll let's eat and sit for some time and discuss something. Mm -hmm. I spent most of times with him before shoot. When to have to shoot. Uh, so for me, yeah, script is very much important. More than that, the director's because how he is going to execute the film. Mm. It's based on his environment, you know, his thoughts, his vision. So when they narrate the script, I can understand how it is going to be. Mm. This more than a reading a script, I, I believe in uh, listening from the. Mm. Uh, writer or director, mm. mostly director. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so that after that, after they narrate the script, then I can sit and read the script. Mm. So they can they can narrate it in half an hour, ten minutes, one hour, two hours. It depends on their choice. But after that, uh, I'll read. Then only I can get their wish. I can read the script on their vision. Their vision. Right. Okay. Okay. So, right. So the narrations, everything was went well. They had a good time. Yeah. That's how it's talking. Yeah. And is that pretty much most films, this, the way you go about deciding if you want to be part of the film? It's obviously the story matters, but then it's the director. Are there, are there times where you've said yes to a project solely because you wanted to work with someone and the story, you trusted the story was going to be okay, or do you also really need to hear the story? No. I, there are a few directors whom I, I don't... Uh, I just trust them, see, super elites. Okay. Yeah. He narrated the script of Factor Meals. Kumar, Director Kumar, Tiagava Jakumar, he came to my office and uh, he, he came to approach me. Uh, he was asking my dates for his friend's film, and he, which he's supposed to produce. Yeah. So I said, I love your film, and then uh, if there is any chance, you know, please. And then suddenly he, we were just telling about that character of Shilpa mm -hmm. in 10-15 minutes, which I loved it. Mm. And I said, so please give me this role. Amen. He said, no, you were you were a star now, you just take your time, think about it. I said, no, no, just give me just give me this role. And he said, no, at least take one week. No, sir, please give me. <laughs> he said, just take uh, two hours, three hours later, even he will talk. No, sir, I'm ready. <laughs> 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 So, uh, and uh, because just because my uh, like uh, like uh, Manikandan was there, mm. who made Raka yeah. Mutai in the Nardan Kalis, yes. he's a fantastic director. There are a few directors up there, whom I, 
I can't name everybody because I worked with a lot of people. Yes. Sure. So yes. If, I mention, <laughs> if I mention very few, then it's not. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they don't care. So uh, there are there are a lot more directors I help them. I love and then I worked with them just because of their execution skills. Yeah. Uh, I've noticed. I know how much responsibly the executor or choreographer of the scene. Are. Like now I'm working with the director man, it's a bad director man. Every time and I'm the set, I love the way he 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 choreographed the scene, mm -hmm. he created the, the tension in the scene, mm -hmm. and, and his clarity of what he wants. It did it, the story. I always enjoy it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm in the two months. Yeah. Something I've noticed with some of your characters, not not all of them, but um, there's a, and it was in this film too. There was a lot of comedy in this in this film with the dialogue and. Kind of Which Maharaja? Yeah, uh, Mahara, yeah, yeah, this one. But then another one that we, this might be my favorite film of yours now. We watched it about a month ago. It was called, um, sorry, uh, starts with an S. I can't pronounce it. That's Su 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 Yes. Su 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 that, um, that, uh, hilarious. <laughs> we died laughing watching that movie. But I've noticed in, in a few of your characters, even in like what you did in, uh, I think it was Juwan, there's a lot of comedy. Yes. Do you like uh, I, I, searching I, that I, out in scripts? Yeah, I, no, no. I I believe that uh, uh, even any dark situation is that I that I can bring a comedy in, and I try to bring it up on the media. Some of uh, I know I want to engage the audience. Uh, okay, and uh, then uh, I like dark, dark humors. Yes, dark humors you. With just a look or just a small behavior, a small pause, anything you can create a dark humor in any situation, mm -hmm. just by doing a small nuances you can create dark humor. Mm -hmm. and, then, and more than that, uh, a director should accept it, then only he can present it in such a way that audience will also receive it. There are some, see, Sudhagam is a dark humor film. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, but when I was doing Jawan, it was not like that. No, no not no, at all. Uh, yeah. Right. So Jawan, when Very I was doing so, I, I discussed with Atli, and then when Atli liked it, so we, we approached in such a way. Santa Claus. So, yeah, right. yeah, Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. Santa Claus, that idea, you know, that was, uh, uh, that, that happened suddenly, because when I was doing that, when I asked Shah Rukh Khan sir that, uh, who am I? <laughs> he said, uh, Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> so I asked, Atli was here, so Shah was here. So I asked, um, sir, uh, it's a pre-climax, uh, and then, uh, Santa Claus is very cute, and then uh, putting it on a villain. Yeah. It's Charles is it? Yeah. You, 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 look, you, look, you look like that one, Lena. Yeah. Then uh, Sar said, uh, uh, "Who am I, Santa Claus?" Then it it becomes, I got a gift. Mm -hmm. That time, uh, Shahrukh Sar said then that Santa will laugh like pop 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 pop. So he he taught me that. Uh, she also taught me that. Yeah, yeah. Santa, yeah, when I was sick. So I said, I got a gift for everybody. He mm -hmm. said, said oh, you can, oh, you can, oh. you can, oh, 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 you can. <laughs> so and he was there, and I was dubbing that scene also, he was there in the okay. dubbing studio. Thing. Dubbing so studio. Yeah. then it became a song of the song that has come. That we did everything in the dubbing, it was not up there. Oh, it was not. Right. So, that, that that all came so out that, from yeah. that Santa Claus, it becomes. Uh, it developed and it becomes like that. Yeah, that's so, wonderful. <laughs> so I always, I always look for a comedy. If a comedy, yeah. if he can do it. In Maharaja, uh, was, Mithil was very clear that I shouldn't do any comedy. Yeah. Uh, but the way you kept delivering that, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I'm because, a, yeah. The way he was uh, uh, executing the film or telling the story, yeah. he said the com initially it looks, it sounds come funny. Yeah. Because when you say Lakshmi is a dustbin, right. so automatically, <laughs> yeah. So it is there. So uh, you don't need to create when it is there in the script. Yeah, don't we don't need to underline the comedy. That's what I not do. at all. All right. It's like a, it's like a, a straight to suddenly uh, you see a pallad in a salon. Bump. Suddenly bump. Suddenly you see a bump or a mm -hmm. or a, uh, speed breakers. Right. Okay. Uh, it, it's. Suppose if, if the, the, already the road is very smooth, we don't need to create such things, that's what I believe. Right, because it's already it's there. Already, it's already there. Right. Uh, so if that's the space, that I can create. But in Maharaja, 
there's no space because he want to tell the story in that yeah. right it's very, very serious yeah he so needs to tell the story so it is there in the script that the the mood of the comedy is there in the script i don't need to do i didn't do anything in that yeah so you i know you've been asked this many times but we we don't know the story and many of the people who watch our channel don't know the story It, I understand you started as you were an accountant, right? Yes. And then you worked several other different jobs. How did you then become what was it that attracted you to becoming an actor? I tell you both that and it sounds very funny. Yeah, uh, actually I'm you know I'm basically from low income class family. So so uh, every month to pay house rent was very difficult task. Okay. Yeah. So I'm the second child, yeah. and then uh, I was very responsible at home. Mm. So I go to my sister's uh, school, open day, no open day. That mm-hmm. your parents meeting, I go. Right. Yeah, like she's yes. four years younger than me, so I go there. And then, uh, uh, I help my mother. I take my younger brother to the hospital. He's a decent boy. The night I take him to the hospital. So I was so much responsible at home. So right. Somehow I want to uh, come out of the poverty and then I want to do something. So I've been, I don't know what to do. And then I'm basically a very shy person. I don't talk to other than my friends or my people. But I don't know what to do. Then uh, I was trying some business while while I was studying college. And then I was doing part time jobs in a in a fast food restaurant as a cashier. Up and then and then then uh, one uh, then I I worked there for two three months. Then I shifted to a um, textile showroom. Then from that time. There was a telephone booth uh, job was there. Now it is. There's a lot of phones. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Phones was there. Right. So telephone. So foreign STDIs take out this thing. Price. I was so. I was working in that uh, shop for some months. Okay. I worked some say fast for three four months. I still that show was uh, say five six months. Then telephone booth was. So I keep searching for something. I don't know what to do mm-hmm. because I never had a plan in me. I I don't have it. No, you just wanted to make money. You know? I didn't. I didn't want to make money. Yeah. Then, uh, uh, then uh, I once I finished my degree, uh, I went B Com, and graduated in that time. So I worked in a cement dealers uh, company, distribution company. Then from there I attended an interview, so I went to Dubai. So, uh, which is here I was getting paid three thousand rupees in even this. Then uh, and I went to Dubai. It is four. It is four times. Right. It's so twelve thousand. It's twelve thousand. Same, same work. Same work. Yeah. Double standard place. So I was there, and uh, then um, I came to India from the marriage. I was in Dubai for life, and then I proposed to her, and we came to marriage. Everything happened in Yang Chat. I met her in Yang Chat. Yang Chat. Yeah. So nice. I didn't meet her directly, so it's. Uh, I met my wife on Instagram. Oh, then so. <laughs> <laughs> so I came before marriage. I didn't. I never. I never met her personally, so I came for it. So my parents saw I when I came for the marriage, and then uh, I don't know what to do. Then I tried some business, uh, like interior decorations, but my parents who already experienced it. Mm-hmm. And then I, I started to do a construction real estate company. My dad was a civil engineer, so I thought, okay, we'll do some joint venture business. Right. Somehow I, I want to make money. Suddenly, one day I thought, nothing was working. Okay. Everything flop, 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 flop. So. Uh, Uh, one day I decided my the time my wife was conceived, and I so I thought I can try for cinema if I want to try. Maybe I have only five years until my son goes to school. Uh, so I decided okay. So you said five years. Whatever, you know, whatever happens, even whatever happens, I'm not going to leave this for the next five years. Because generally I can't focus on anything for uh, more than six months or anything. I just I would from my head very very easily. Mm. So this. Uh, This uh, uh, five years, I said, okay, I don't know anything about acting. I don't know anything, but I'm going to learn what is it, what is this acting, and what is the story. Because I'm not fan of watching films. I'm not fan of any actors. I don't know anything. So I said, okay. First thing is, I know that I don't know anything. So I started, which is a good place. Yeah. Yeah. So I started from there. So they asked me. Uh, when when you surrender yourself to you uh, the profession, uh, then you more than as more than speaking, you listen more, yeah. you mm-hmm. observe more. Yeah. So uh, that was uh, uh, 
greatest uh, realization I had in the beginning of my career. Mm. Still now, uh, it's helping me. Still now, I'm asking myself, what do you know? Yeah. Mm. So still now, I observe, still now I'm updating myself. Whatever comes, suppose if anybody comes and uh, criticizes my work or anything, so I'll ask myself, I don't ask them, I ask myself, okay, what did I do? Mm. I don't get angry and then I don't, I don't, uh, I don't uh, defend myself. Yeah. yeah. I don't convince them. Yeah. So I say, okay. Yeah. Suppose if they ask doubt, I can discuss with them. Right. Uh, suppose if they uh, say that uh, this is not good, okay. Okay, so the, I have to work on myself. Yeah. So I, I think it starts from there. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. And so I'm guessing you're acting. Hey, is it disturbing you? They both? Because no, 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 no. These are directional. Oh, they yeah. don't pick them up. We're bored with it. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, the, uh, so your acting philosophy, I'm guessing, came from probably just on the job training. And I mean, so, do you like your, not philosophy, for lack of a better term, your acting process? Yeah, the way you learned acting by just doing it, by doing it on the job, right? From your co-actors and what they do. I once I know that I don't know anything, so my first of all, uh, I'm, I'm I'm very introvert. I can't talk to you people, so I will not come down. So I created one fake wired uh, uh, of me in, uh, as a marketing person. Okay. So I went and I got a job because I worked in a uh, interior place with my friends for three months. So I know what is the job is. Right. So I created my experience in five years. So three and a half years in marketing. So I approached in a company and I got the job. So I thought if I go for marketing means I have to meet new people every day. So I can break that uh, inner wall and mm. the complexity and everything so it can come out of it. I did it for uh, that for two months I think so. Mm. That time I saw one theater called Kutupata. They were very famous. So I saw them and I asked them that I want to learn acting. Mm. And that time that fees was 7,000 rupees. Um, and then uh, they said uh, the course is closed. Mm. I don't know what to do. So uh, for me, that time I don't have anybody to discuss about my passion because everybody, my friends and my family, everybody knows I'm a very shy person. I, can't I can never become an actor. They know where they will. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't discuss about this. So I was talking to myself, okay, what do you want to do? If you work somewhere and if you try for cinema means, uh, thinking about cinema, thinking about acting, it will be very less time in a day. Mm. Okay, maybe I will suppose I've been working for that company for eight hours or ten hours. Then still the, my, that next day job will be there, you have to work on it. Right. Then in, in between, go and give your photographs to the companies and approach for the chances. So which means that time only you'll think about acting. But but you, you don't learn anything, you don't have that interaction with that profession right. which, you want to, uh, which you want to do in your life. So I thought, okay, uh, they, the Kutupata Theatre Group, they said they need an accountant. So from marketing to accountant, I, again I become an accountant. So I thought we'll be with the actors, we're watching the actors and be with that energy. Uh, we'll make me think about it and process, process about it more. So I decided to go there. And Very wise, it. yes. So, so that in eight hours or ten hours, so I can be with them. The actors they keep uh, working in voice culture, or, uh, some music, somebody do gymnastics, somebody does script reading. Something they keep doing in every day, mm. and then they watch the film also. They work with so much intensity. They mm. they, they discuss about an actors how is, how is he using the plays or props and the way they deliver dialogues, background score, the script, everything they discuss. So when I eat lunch with them, I observe them, and I'm there, I observe them. So. It was like, okay, earlier I don't know what is the responsibility for an actor. So that slowly I started understanding, okay, this is how an actor thing this is, how an actor works. Mm. So I started observing from them and slowly, 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 whatever. Mm. Yeah. Fantastic, wonderful. Yeah, and I, I imagine you still approach your character the same way with, as a student. You, you, you think, yeah. you, you examine and you study and you, you try to find out who these people are the same way you did back then, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I talk to my directors so much because uh, that description about a scene is not enough. Uh, so I want to spend with more direct, more time and more time. We don't need to discuss about cinema also, say about, by spend, now only we are meeting for an interview. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, before the interview starts, you may have a different opinion. 
Right. Okay. After you had the session, then something is changing, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, something is changing. Yeah. You know a little more. Yeah. Maybe right. we, 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 we may discuss about the cinema, but you may know a little bit about the person of Vijay Sethu, so you can understand it. Right. Same way, not need, no, don't need to discuss about cinema always with the director. You can just spend time with him. Mm -hmm. Somewhere you'll understand his thought process. It doesn't need to be about the scene or a shot. Sure. It can anything about anything. a bird, it can about a leaf, it can about a bird, it can about a day, it can about anything, it can about a tea, it can about a food. Mm -hmm. But that helps you to be, uh, uh, work with the director, mm -hmm. uh, understand the director, his vision, more. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't always need to be work, but that gives a definition that's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, unnecessarily. If you keep thinking, of, because once you become somebody, say about you're a doctor or an actor or a director, I believe 24 by 7 you are the one, you are that one. Mm -hmm. Suppose you were an actor and suddenly if you see a very good photograph in, other, um, in the holdings, mm -hmm. you will observe that actor or you, you, will, you will observe that idea for some time, right? right. How they come to this, uh, uh, this thought process. Right. So yesterday night we were walking in the Zenly Street, this, what is the street called? Ali Sunset. Sunset. Uh, sun yeah, yeah, Sunset Boulevard. Uh, sunset. So when we were walking, there was an holding and then an address name was there. Uh, which, uh, Suddenly we thought, we, we, me and my friends were walking. We thought, we saw we like that photographs and we were watching that photos for some seconds and we left. It's about 2 o'clock in the night. So, mm -hmm. so if you are into some profession, you are always that only. That's what I have to do. Yes. So, yeah. so uh, when you, when you, when, when, when I'm, when I'm working with some director or an actor, so spending time with them uh, is, it's very good. Very, being, very being in the set, suppose my co-actors are there, you know, I, um, so in between the shots, or the, when you get time, I like to sit and talk to them, anything. Yes. Uh, that making comfort. Before I start this interview, I told you that I'm, my English is not good. I was, I was a bit nervous. Sure. But once you both started asking questions, I felt that vibe with you. Yes. Oh, good. I, it, was, it was good. Good. And it was good. <laughs> so I, I become more comfortable. Good. You know, I don't think about my language, I'm just speaking from now. Wonderful. Well, your English is very good. Yes. You may not feel your English is good, but your English is very good. Thanks. Yes. Um, another question I wanted to ask is, you're a very sweet man. Yes. And you give off this very sweet vibes uh, in person and on screen. But you often play <laughs> these villainous people yeah, that are yeah, very dangerous. <laughs> are you drawn to them just because those are interesting characters, uh, or are you really a dark person? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm both. Yes, but I, yeah. I'm like a day and yeah. day and night. Sure. sure. And both and uh, uh, I draw the thing. The reason is uh, when you do villain role. Uh, See, uh, and you keep on doing as a hero, your mind, uh, that thought process in one day, that being a good, uh, doing yeah. good, behaving good, uh, projecting yourself as good, that you become the image of good, no? Mm -hmm. And it's boring. It's, yeah. I want right. to promote of it and just go opposite to that and then you be there and you watch from that side uh, to this side, no? You may have something else because I believe uh, more than your friend, your enemy knows better than Mm. More than your loved ones, your enemy thinks about you more than your loved ones. Mm. Because uh, he hates you so much and uh, he always thinks about you. Right. How, to kill, how to kill you, how right. to torture you, yeah. how to disturb you. So more than your loved ones, your, uh, that enemy, uh, the person who hates you, thinks about you a lot. Okay. Mm. So uh, you're being on the good, good side. Now you go to the bad side and then you. Now from the bad side you see the lip, no? maybe mm -hmm. you may have a different perspective mm -hmm. and the brain will have uh, uh, like uh, say if you ask me to do a uh, jump or a boxing now which I, I can't do enough but if I go and practice it for a month or six months mm -hmm. then my body will have that flexibility right so the brain will have a trust if you ask me to do I will do right mm -hmm. so that that but, to make it believe that we need to practice our body, right? Same way, if I do the opposite opposite, the brain will have that flexibility. Yes. So it can bring an idea from anywhere. Right. Do you remember you what I'm saying? I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I don't know that. No, no, I don't know that. I communicate properly. But uh, being always a good, you you mind be thinking only one, uh, one perspective or one angle. So when when you when you think for an uh, opposite, uh, it's say like mm -hmm. bad, bad, bad. Then, okay. 
So I believe that your, your mind will have that flexibility. Of yeah, I agree. And that makes sense. Okay. And many actors are, feel that way. That's why they choose many different kinds of roles, because they want to feel challenged. They, they don't want to, the same thing over and over. Even if the audience likes that, they really don't want to keep doing that. It can get boring. The, yeah. No, no, we get anxiety. When, mm -hmm. when it, it's, it's like, actually, it's an anxiety. Right? Yeah. And then I was very, I was very careful when I was going to Wyndham, because same time I was doing a hero also. Protagonist also. So if I become very averse to my audience, they can watch my uh, regular films, protagonist films. So uh, when I was doing uh, uh, negative movies, I was very sure that I should engage the audience. They should enjoy, they should laugh for me, mm -hmm. they should laugh for me. Mm -hmm. but, you know? Yeah. yeah. I, I, so I, so I, so when I approached the negative roles, I approached uh, as a protagonist for me, the sense. Hmm. See, if I'm bad to you, then you're also bad to me. So we both are equal, that's what, uh, mm -hmm. that's all. Right. Yeah, I have some thoughts, uh, and uh, which you were saying it's wrong. When you say wrong, then you become a bad woman. Right. So in my story, I'm the protagonist. And yeah, right, in your story. Yeah, in my right. story. Right. right. In yeah. my story, I'm the protagonist, and you are the villain for me. That's, yeah. Um, you can approach it in that way. It's yeah. Don't judge your character. Yeah, exactly. Not, don't judge your character. I, and on the... Um, so you obviously have been around a good while. You think you're on the 50th film? Yeah, for FD, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, Congratulations. But you, you've had a, you've got to work with so many legends. And as somebody who obviously didn't go to film school or something like that, I, I think you were working with Rajnikanth and, and Peta. You were with VJ and Master Kamal and I think a few things, right? Mm -hmm. Leo, yes. Shahrukh Khan. Did did those? They're superstars. Those are like, yeah, they, large than life people. Um, did they did they teach you anything or did you learn anything from them during yeah, the acting not, process? Yes, I've just now I told him that being with somebody you automatically learn something. Yeah. I work with them, yeah, yeah. I just want to understand them. So when I was working with them I I could I can't tell that what I learned because everything was it's, it's internal. I yeah. internal. Yeah, yeah. And this is what no, I can't particularly I can't say because yeah. there are so much but they were ruling the industry for so many years. Yeah. This means they have some magics. Right, yeah. So by working with them, uh, say about one scene comes to me and uh, say, say Rajini Sar is also there and the scene coming to me also, which means we both are going to do that scene. So means we both read the scene and then they're coming with an idea, right? Yeah. So while you interact with that great mind, so you understand something. Yes. And when I look in your design, yes. <laughs> same way to Vijay Sir, sing to Shah and Rajini yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir. So it is like, if you, if you, I believe that uh, if you pick something and going to say it or uh, to learn something, no, that will be very small. Mm. That subconscious level of understanding is something great, which has to happen automatically. Mm. Yeah. Uh, believing that process is great, and more than uh, more than um, expecting a thing, just believe in the past and go mm. like. Right? Mm. Yeah. That I had a, a great time. Yeah. yeah. Something happened internally. I don't know what was it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've done both, obviously, film, and you have done TV series. Do you have one you like more than the other? Or do you like them equal? No, I, I did only one TV series. Yeah. I was very bad actor at the time. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you did Pansy. No, the series you said. Yeah. Yeah. My career I started, I, I did on tele serial. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, that was, I was very bad. <laughs> I would like to see it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think it's <laughs> like, no, 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 you can watch, but yeah. it's not available. Yeah. yeah. I tried to find out, maybe 30 seconds something is there, but yeah. it was very bad. And, uh, <laughs> that time, my director, CJ Baskar, recently I went to his son's marrow also. He's the one who uh, uh, tapped me to one that. Your eyes and uh, your smile is good, and uh, when, you, when you understand, when you realize what is acting, you'll be somewhere. Very big love. He said it, and I was not an actor at all. When I was, and I when I can't even give a reaction with a small sense. So mm -hmm. I don't know how he trusted me. You do have great eyes. Huh? I mean, yeah, you can see it in your eyes. You can... Yeah, but I believe uh, uh, when you really want something, uh, that will come and give you some signs mm -hmm. through people. Yes, yes. That's that happened for me in uh, so many times in my life. Not only in initial stages. So many times happened. So I, uh, that's why I said this again. I came to LA when I was 25th film, I was class 30. And 50th film, I came to the city, Flower. 
uh, film festival there. I don't know what else is in his hand. Yeah. When I was doing Super Deluxe, uh, there was a photograph which I took uh, that photo 20 years before on my college bus pass. That, that government gives you pass yeah. for students mm -hmm. where you can go to uh, oh. the, the college route, you can take the bus with you. That photo they used in that uh, in the in the the super deluxe. So when I was looking at the photo, I was like, in this moment, I thought I was taking a photograph ah. from a bus pass. Huh. But the same moment, that photo was telling me, no idea. I have an more job with said. After 20 years, you become an actor. And that where they need they need your childhood photo, your engaged photo. That I'm I, I have a job there. Right. You know, I, so I yeah. always live every moment there is one more moment is coming, like like a film. Mm. It's a lead scene for everything. <laughs> well, well, lead, like a lead scene. Yes. Uh, that's some uh, when CJ Baskar sir told me that uh, at that time I didn't I didn't know the value of trust works. Yeah. But inside me was so much uh, depression and hurt and pain, everything was a, that that word was a medicine. Somebody's and nobody is around the world or you are around your circle who's ready to trust you. Because when my friends and family when they watched that T V serial, they will keep on telling me, again you go back to Dubai. Yeah. This is not coming to you. Try to understand you are married, uh, you have a kid. Right. So don't spoil your life. So they started talking to me like this. But my director told me that no you have a great picture. So so many things happen. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm coming to the well, series. I don't find any difference because yeah. everything everywhere's a scene yeah. and short divisions on with actors and story. So, but you yeah. like the long format better than the. Uh, Say I don't have any. Well, yeah, yeah, you see, it depends. When I was doing Merry Christmas, uh, so initially my dad had uh, was thinking that this film will be 90 minutes. So when I was giving uh, a reaction for the scene, he said, "Vijay, I don't want this much length. Cut it. Make it. Make it off." Because uh, the film will be 19 minutes only, there will be no. In India, we have an intermission. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. So this film will be have a, an intermission. So people once they watch them on 19 minutes, they watch they go out of theatre. Mm -hmm. So they, he said, uh, don't give this much here. Yeah. This much. Don't take this much. Yeah. Right. Oh, shorten it. I short. Yeah. I short. So that story he wanted to tell it like this. Okay. Suppose my director says, no, Vijay, you take time. I want something. You are giving this much, I want this much pins, I take this much time. I just try to think how to give that much time and without boring her and uh, connecting a bit uh, engaging audience of the same time. Yeah. So we just try for you to so. No. So there is a lengthy short film and nothing all, all the same. All the same. All the same. Yeah. I initially when I was trying for cinema, I was I was playing as a hero of Sir Bolly or a few years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every film protagonist friend to money. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then uh, one day I thought if I keep doing such ones I can never learn. So I thought okay, uh, I went to the film schools and I approached directors, I don't want any money, please give me a chance. So in short films they they give me a chance in short films, I'm the protagonist in the short film. So I can go through all the expressions of the protagonist. So so I went to uh, film schools and I started giving photographs to uh, the upcoming uh, filmmakers. So, uh, during that time, I, 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 I think I acted about 10 to 10 short films. So, where I started understanding. Uh, Have all of them come out since? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. People found them. Did we see them? Did, people's, did people, did saw people short find, films? find those short films? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah they're all out. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, a lot. Yeah. So, it, uh, when, when I was doing short films, I learned more. Yeah. yeah. So, because I'm the protagonist in the short film, so, mm -hmm. so I have to carry the story, right? So, uh, that. Uh, there are some decisions which comes in your mind and you touch the process and ask yourself and then just go and touch the process. Mm -hmm. uh, those are the, those things I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. It reminds me, the, the word, I don't know if you know, you may know the word tenacity. Do you know what that word is? No. no, no, no. You know? Tenacity. How would you translate if someone has tenacity where they just won't Lakshmi. give up? They won't give up. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So it reminds me a lot of Maharaja. Okay, okay. The scene at the principal office, the scene in the police station reminds me a lot of you in 
I know. I want like when you said for the super deluxe. Take a week. No, no, I, I'm ready. Yeah. Take three hours. No, no, I'm I'm, I'm ready now. Mm -hmm. And I see that as very much who you are, and very much if you know this is something you want to go yeah, for. Yeah, because I know. Don't know, give up. <laughs> I, and I know Tiara Kumar is a great director. And uh, I saw his first. I actually uh, when he was making his first film, I went and gave him a photo. I didn't get my chance. Uh, so I was a dubbing union member. There is a dubbing union is there. I mean, mm. okay, member. So and I went to this uh, his first film, Maharani Kanda. That's first film. That's a great film. Tell us, Maharani, the first film. Okay, first film. Say again. Yeah, Maharani yeah. Kanda. That sounds familiar. Yeah, that sounds we know familiar. we've seen that anyway. Yeah, maybe we'll we yeah. finish and we'll see. Let me know. Okay, Maharani Kanda. That film. I went for a dubbing, and then there was one scene, uh, which. And I was doing that scene, dubbing that scene. I don't like this scene. I don't know. I don't like this scene. Then I, I, I told that uh, sound engineer, so I need to pick up my kid from the school, so I'm leaving. So I just left it. <laughs> then after, uh, uh, then after, after the movies at least when I saw the film, the film is so great. The directors, I, I just fell in love with the film and the director. Then uh, when 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 I met him. Uh, from this Kodi Lex, you know? One day I told him, Sir, uh, your, your first film, uh, <laughs> I went for a dubbing, then I, I hate that scene, and I thought this film is very bad for me. But later, the movie released, and I saw the two, two three times in theaters. So I told him that. So, this, the next time, when he, I, he didn't approach me, I approached him mm -hmm. for a character. And, and he narrated so great, and I know that. Uh, if if I don't if I didn't do it properly, he will throw me out of set. Mm -hmm. So he know how to um, uh, how to how to how, how to um, execute or uh, extract that work from me. Mm -hmm. uh, because he has a very clear vision. So I just trusted him and I entered. Because I don't know anybody else can come and write a transcendental world like this mm -hmm. and will execute it like this, which. When when I, when I will get a chance to sure. uh, play as a Shilpa and anybody, so I just uh, the way he narrates, narrated that Shilpa character was so awesome. Mm. I said please, yeah. <laughs> just because of Maharaj. Yeah. yeah. And the last question for you, finish it up here, because I, I wanted to ask uh, about the film we watched, um, not the one that we just watched, but the the comedy that I. The yeah. Su 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 Thanks for the. Uh, <laughs> I love that movie so much. Um, what were the scenes like when your love interest wasn't there and having to act? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, she was there a lot of the time. Which is brilliant. But <laughs> we died laughing when we found out. But like, a bunch of scenes like when she died and, like, and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. What was it? Was a lot of that improv or was it, uh, was no, all, that, all that reading? No, things, no, not, no Nalan Kumar Sami is uh, he's very famous and he's one of the great directors and... His writing is awesome. Always is. Uh, you can watch all this. I, I did uh, Sudha Kaun, then the second I did Kavalan Parangu, mm -hmm. which, okay. which is a remake of a um, Korean film. Yeah, but his way of touch is very nice in that mm -hmm. Then he made one uh, short film. I acted in it. Uh, so, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. the way he writes script and uh, dark humors and everything was, he's so great. Man. He's so good at it. Uh, just because not enough. even Sudhuram's script I didn't understand properly mm. I, I know Nalan is great mm -hmm. uh, I know Nalan is good I, I know this man's uh, writing sense it was very difficult for me to understand his uh, uh, timing sense mm. so after I did uh, three films only I told him now I could be able to ca crack your writing sense please give me one more chance uh. But it took three films to yeah, yeah. yeah. to cross me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Three films. I understand. Yeah. And then for me, uh, yeah, if I don't know anything, I just want to tell. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that gives freedom for me. So yeah, I, sure. I just told them that sir, it's because of you. It looks like you know, I did something, but it just blindly and depend on you and trust on you. I did it. Mm. <laughs> I didn't process that as because I couldn't understand. Yes. You just did what they said to do, and because I, yeah. I pressed on them. Right. Uh, I yeah. 
Yeah, for the director. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sitting down. We yeah, wanted to talk to you much. for a very, very long time. I was so happy when we found out that you were coming to L.A. and the chance to get to talk to you because uh, you are a, a fabulous actor. Yes. Um, and you seem like, and looks like you are, such a genuinely nice person as well who is a great actor. And so those are the people that we love talking to. Yes. Um, luckily, everybody we've talked to has been a fantastic person. Yes. Uh, but uh, it's, uh, it is lovely to be able to sit down. We haven't got to talk to a lot of people from the Tamil industry. Yeah. Only a few, oh, Erman, Prabhudeva, uh, I think are the, the two. But uh, we, we really admire your work uh, and the fact that you not only do these, these big films and bring your great performances, but also the really small films. Like I yes. the name of people, there's one with the, the village that you're in, the old man. Um, and the, the Kadasu was saying. Yes. Mm, yes. And the one that's part two coming out later this year as well. Um, yes. 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 Uh, we, we love the fact that you're so versatile and the fact that you love all different types of cinema. Um, so thank you so much for sitting down. Thank you. Yeah, we, the only people we interview are people that we have deep respect for as artists because we value cinema, we value acting so highly. And when we watch people that we admire, the kind of actors that, when we know you are part of a movie, like you said, if I know that person's directing, I want to work with them. We know that if you are part of a film, we don't need to see the trailer. We want yeah. to see it because yeah. you're in the film. Thank you. So, yeah, so thank you very much. We know you're very busy, but we really appreciate you coming and spending time with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. And the interview was very good. And they want to ask, what is the key? Is oh, it yeah. <laughs> he always wears it. Always. Yeah, I like I, that. I stole it from my wife. Uh, <laughs> I've been married for 13 years. Okay. Um, and so her grandfather collected keys. Um, okay. and, and so she, when he passed, uh, I stole it from her collection that she got from her grandfather. So it kind key. of represents my wife a little bit. Yeah, well, it, it's very good. It's a cool key, too. Yeah. Uh, In my home, uh, my father's photo is there. But me and I collected this much key, this big key. Is it? He's the master key of my family. Ah, I kept the uh, key by him. I kept by me. He's no more, but next to his photo, I, I kept that uh, key. key somewhere. Uh, I don't know. That gives a lot of emotions. Mm -hmm. That does a lot of connections. Absolutely. Yes, it does. Absolutely. I yeah. like it's very nice. Thank, Thank you. you so much for sitting Thank down. Thank you so much. It's lovely. Thank you. Thank you.